Shalom, Shalom Israel. Coming back with another video. First off, I want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Alright. In this video I'm beginning to is gonna be the destruction of Babylon, right? The destruction of these heathens, right? Anyone that's not a uh, that's not an Israelite, right? They're gonna be destroyed, right? And they're gonna go into captivity, right? Start off with the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, and verse 19. And it reads, The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name, right? Because we're the inheritance of the Most High God, right? The Most High God has chosen us to be a special people above all people upon the face of the earth, right? Verse 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war. The Most High said we're his battle axe, his weapon of war, right? So-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians of Negro and indigenous descent, right? We're the Most High's battle axe, right? And weapons of war, right? For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, right? He's going to use us to break in pieces these nations, right? When you break something in pieces, what does that mean? You're going to destroy them. You, you're beating people down. Right? He says, um, For with thee I will break in pieces the nations, and with thee I will destroy kingdoms. Right? Most High say he's going to destroy kingdoms with the Israelites. Right? Because we're his weapons of war. We're his battle axe. What do you do with a battle axe? You're chopping, you're chopping things down. Right? And when you're in, in war, you have all different sorts of weapons. Right? So we're those weapons of the Most High God. Right? Verse 21, he says, And with thee I will break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee I will break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Right? Verse 22. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee I will break in pieces old and young. And with thee I will break in pieces the young man and the maid. Right? So the Most High is going to use the break in pieces these heathens. Right? Whether they be old or young. Right? Whether it be man or woman, right? Whether it be a maid or a young man, we're going to break these people down, right? These heathen nations, right? Verse 23, I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee I will break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen. And with thee I will break in pieces captains and rulers, right? So he's going to use us to break in pieces all nations, whether it be a king, a top elite, whatever the case may be, they're going to be broken into pieces, right? There's nowhere they can hide, right? Because the Most High says, right, right now he sent forth fish, fishers of men, but then he's going to send out uh, hunters, right? So we're going to be able to hunt these men out, right? Those of the elect, they're going to go out and hunt these men out, right? And break them in pieces and bring them into captivity, right? Verse 24. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants, inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord. Right? So he says he's going to render to Babylon everything they have done to us, he's going to do unto them. Right? And he's going to do it in our sight. We're going to see these things happening. Right? He says, um, verse uh, 25. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord God, which destroyeth all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and, and roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. Right? So these Edomites, he said he's going he's gonna to destroy these Edomites. He said, O destroying mountain. Right? He said, it's like, I'm going to read it over. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, right? He's against these Edomites because we know these Edomites come from the Caucasus Mountains, right? They dwell in the clefts of the rocks. So the Most High said, he's against you. He's against these Edomites, O destroying mountain, said the Lord, which destroyed all the earth, right? Because these Edomites, they destroyed the earth, right? They destroy the water we drink, right? They destroy the air that we breathe, right? With these chemtrails, right? They destroy everything they get their hands on they destroy right the ocean they have destroyed right 
they destroy everything that they get their hands on, right? The food they have destroyed, right? The people they have destroyed through their false um, philosophies, the religions, and things of that nature, they have destroyed many people, right? They have destroyed the earth, right? It says, um, and I will stretch out my hand upon thee. The Most High is going to stretch out his hand upon these Edomites and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain, right? He's going to destroy these people, right? Now, verse 26, and they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner nor a stone for foundations, but thou shalt be desolate forever, said the Lord. The Most High says he's going to make them desolate forever, right? These people, these Edomites are going to go into captivity. So-called white people, they're going into captivity, right? Thus said the Lord, right? And these other nations, right? When you read Psalms 83, it tells you, lets you know that all these nations have consulted together. They came together to to, to figure out how they were going to, um, you know, try to uh, rule over the Israelites, you know, and, and, and try to destroy us from being a nation, right? Let's get Jeremiah 16. Let's lock it. Jeremiah 16. In verse 16, and it reads, Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them, right? And after I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks, right? So the Most High said he will send forth many fishers, which is what, what you see now, right? You see the Israelite brothers out there in the corners teaching they're fishing right what are you doing you fish throw a hook with bait fish bites you caught that fish same thing with the word you see israelite brothers on the corners they're teaching they see brothers sisters passing by everybody got a minute for the word they're, they're reading them the laws they're, they're breaking down what they're supposed to be doing as an israelite they're letting them know that they're israelite the true nationality they're fishing for men and right? you have some men that's going to grab onto it and take hold of it right and lord willing the most high plant once that seed is planted, Lord willing, the Most High waters that seed, and they grow and they sprout, and they come into the truth full on, right? So the, the Most High said He's going to send forth the fishers of men, right? Which is now, and He said, um, it's like you. And after I will send for many hunters, because after the word, after the elect is sealed, right? The Most High is going to send forth hunters, right? Which are going to go out and hunt all these uh, top elites, all these Edomites. And all these people that think that they can't hide from the Most High, right? Because you're going to have, when World War III goes off, you're going to have, not all people's going to die. There's going to be people that's going to be hiding in underground bunkers, right? Hiding deep underground, right? Hiding in the rocks, right? And the, the Most High said he's going to send forth hunters to go and hunt these people out and put, you know, put them, put them in chains and bring them back to slavery, right? Just like you. Right? He said, I'm... They will be hunted from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks, right? So these people can think they can hide. These Edomites think they can hide. They can't. And it's a wrap. The Most High is going to put these people into captivity, right? Using the Israelites, right? Because we're his battle axe, right? Verse 17. For my eye, it's like for mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face. Neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes. Right, so everything these Edomites have done and these other nations have done is not hid from the Most High's eyes. He sees all things, right? And these people are going to pay for what they have done, right? They think that they have got away with things, right? They see that they have been destroying us as a nation for many years, and they say, well, nothing happened yet. We're going to keep doing it. But the Most High God, he's going to fight for us. He's going to use us to break in pieces these nations and bring them into captivity. They're going to be judged for what they have done on this earth. Right? Verse 18. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. Right? And Most High is going to pay them back double for their sin and iniquities. Because they have defiled my land. And have filled my inheritance with carcasses of their de detestable and abominable things. Right? They have defiled the Most High's land. Right? They have shed innocent blood of the so-called blacks. Uh, Hispanics and Native Indians of Negro and Indigenous blood, right? They kill us on a regular, right? You have innocent men that have died, but they shed innocent blood. It's like, yeah. 
just like when they when they came and um, took over and stole the land from the Native Indians, they shed innocent blood, right? So the, the, the land cannot be cleansed but by their blood being shed, right? It says they have filled my inheritance with carcasses, right? And detestable and abominable things, right? False gods, false religions, right? All, all manner of abominable things they have filled the land with, right? All these false philosophy, philosophies, right? Verse 19. O Lord, my strength and my, re and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies. Right? So these Gentiles, these heathens are going to come and say, You know, surely our, our forefathers have told us lies. We thought we were the real Jews. We thought this, we thought that. Right? But they're going to realize that they have been taught lies. Right? And they're going to realize the truth that they've been oppressing the Israelites this whole time. Right? And they're going to they're going to have to pay for that, right? Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanities, and things wherein there is no profit, right? Because the things they do, there is no profit in them, right? At the end of the day, they're going to pay for these things, right? America was built off the bloodshed of the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, right? There's no profit in that because they're walking on stolen land, right? And this land, uh, the Mosai is going to take back, right? It says, um... Verse 20, show a man make gods unto himself, and they are no gods. Verse 21, therefore behold, I will, it's like, behold, therefore behold, I will this once cause them to know, and will cause them to know my hand and my might, and they shall know that I am, my, they shall know that my name is the Lord. Right? So the Most High is going to deal with them, and they're going to know the Most High. They're going to know his name is the Lord, right? Because they think that the Most High is, is it's not going to do anything. Psalms 149. It's like if I'm reading fast, my battery's low. I don't want it to die in the middle of the video. Psalms 149. And verse 5. And it reads, Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Right? And the saints are the Israelites. When you read Psalms 15 and 5, right? Psalms... Uh, 148 and 14. Let me get Psalm 148 and 14. He also exhausted the horns of his people, the praise of all his saints. We know his people are the Israelites, which are the saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise you, the Lord. So the saints are the Israelites. So he said, Let the saints be joyful in glory, and let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of Yahweh be in their mouth, right? Let the high praises of God be in their mouth, and a two edged sword in their hand. Right, we're gonna have a literal two-edged sword in our hand to do what? To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishment upon the people. So these two-edged swords, we're gonna be a getting vengeance on these heathens. We're gonna be slicing these people up, and you know, like we, the most I said, we're his battle axe. Right? We're gonna tear these people up. Right? Verse eight: To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. Right? We're gonna take their high elites, these presidents, these top people we're going to put them in chains and, and they're all going into slavery right all these nations they're all all the people going into slavery verse 9 to execute uh to execute upon them the judgment in britain this honor have all his saints praise you the lord so this is an honor from the most high that he gave to the israelites to to go out with a two-edged sword and destroy these nations and, and bind them up in chains and fetters and bring them into the land as slaves right you, know, you read revelations 13 and 9 13 and 10 13 and 10 it tells you he that leads them to, to, to captivity shall go into captivity right so these people have to go into slavery right Psalms 137 and verse 9 start at verse 7 137 and 7 remember O Lord the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said raise it raise it even to the foundation thereof right and when you raise them to the foundation thereof that means you're trying to destroy it utterly right and that's what they wanted to do with us Israelites and verse 8, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, right? Because they're going to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee, right? And the Israelites are going to reward them, right? As we just previously read. As thou hast served us, right? The same way they served us, we're going to reward them double, right? Verse 9, happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones, right? So we're going to be, the most I said, we're going to be happy to take their little ones, their little two-year-olds, their three-year-olds, their little baby. We're going to take them by the legs, dash their heads against the stones, right? And the most I said, we're going to be happy doing that, right? 
Now that's that's some good payback right there. The most I say that honor is unto the saints, right? And that's beautiful. Let's get Habakkuk uh, 2 and 12, right? Because these people have built their land on blood. And the most high, let's see what the most high said about that, right? They, how did America get built? On the on the on the bloodshed of the of the so-called blacks, right? Um, uh, Hispanics and Native Indian, the Negro indigenous descent of the slaves, right? We built this land up, right? Habakkuk 2 and 12. Woe to him that built a town with blood and established a city by iniquity, right? They built this, this America with blood, right? And they established a city by iniquity, right? Their laws are sin, right? They say a man can be with a man, a woman can be with a woman, right? They say, uh, Man can have babies now. It's just all twisted up and sick, right? They go against everything that the Bible says. They do everything contrary to what the Most High say. They go against the Most High, right? What the Most High said, woe to him, destruction to him, right? Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery, right? This land is full of lies and robbery, right? They say they founded this land first, but we know the Native Indians was here first when you read the scriptures, right? Um, it says it's full of lies and robbery. Why they go around robbing everybody, right? They go into other, uh, other, other to these other nations, and they rob them, right? Just like 9/11 was a lie. There was no, there was no airplanes that went into the trade centers. They blew them up, and they, and they, they did CGI on the TV so it looked like an airplane crashed into them, right? And they use that as an excuse to go into Afghanistan and Iraq to rob these people of their, of their, of their spoils, even though they're heathens, but. That's just how the white man gets down, right? So he says, woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. Right? They lied and, 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 and they robbed the native um, Indians of this of this land, right? They came off peaceful, but it was war in their mind, right? They wanted, they, they came and destroyed, destroyed our people, right? And took this land, right? It says, the prey departed not, right? Let's get Isaiah 25 and 7. Isaiah chapter 25 and verse 7. And it reads, And he will destroy this mountain, the face of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. Right? Because this man has went around and he's he he didn't just he didn't put a veil over all people to where they're blind. They cannot even see what's going on. Right? But the most high is gonna lift that veil, and all these nations are gonna start to realize that this man's this man's been lying these people have been lying and robbing everyone right they're going to realize that they've been oppressing the most high's people right so the most high is going to lift that veil off and everything's going to come out and everybody's going to know and everybody's why you see world war three is prophecy you see all these other nations coming against america they're all going to destroy this place everyone's going to shoot nukes it's going to be a nuclear war right the Most High is going to destroy this people. This mountain, these people, these, these Edomites, Esau, right? They're going to be destroyed, right? And all other nations as well. They're going to go into captivity, right? Thus said the Lord. But Lord willing, this video was edifying. To the next video, Vigil Shalom.